let A and B be two sets. Then A is a subset of B if and only if A union B is equal to B. We'll be proving this set theory result in today's Wrath of Math lesson. Go ahead and try to prove it on your own before watching the rest of the video. Hopefully you've given it a shot. I think it's a pretty straightforward proof, really just uses definitions of the involved terms. Notice that this is an if and only if statement or a biconditional statement, so we need to show that if A is a subset of B, then A union B equals B, and we need to show the other direction, that if A union B equals B, then A is a subset of B. Thus, given either one of these pieces of information about two sets, we can conclude that the other is true. Quickly want to point out, I think this is a pretty intuitive and easy to understand result. If we have a set B and some subset A, then certainly unioning these sets will not give us any new elements that aren't in B. We're just going to be left with B. Conversely, if when we union B with some set A, we're just left with the set B, then it must be the case that A is a subset of B. Otherwise, we would have got some new elements that aren't in B. But nothing is more convincing than a proof, so let's go ahead and jump into the proof. So we're going to begin by assuming that our set A is a subset of B, and we want to show that A union B equals B. To show this, we need to show that A union B is a subset of B, and B is a subset of A union B. First, let's prove that A union B is a subset of B. So if we take some element X from A union B, we know, by definition of set union, that x is an element of A or x is an element of B. If x is an element of B, that's great, we can pretty much stop there. If x is an element of A, then we can also conclude that x is an element of B because A is a subset of B. Thus, either way, x is an element of B, so this shows that any element of A union B must also be in the set B, and therefore A union B is a subset of B. Then, to finish this direction of the proof, we just need to show that B is a subset of A union B. So, if we take some element x from the set B, then, simply by definition of union, x must be an element of A union B because A union B contains all elements that are in A as well as the elements that are in B. Therefore, B is a subset of A union B. Since A union B is a subset of B as well, we have our desired conclusion. A union B is equal to B. So this proves the first direction, that if A is a subset of B, then A union B is equal to B. And you should take a moment to consider how this does cover the case where A or B is equal to the empty set. If you can't see why that is, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help clear it up for you. You might also find some of my other lessons on the empty set to be helpful. But let's jump into the next direction of the proof. We need to show that if A union B is equal to B, then A is a subset of B. So we suppose A and B are two sets, and we assume that A union B is equal to B. And we want to prove that this is true, that A is a subset of B. So we begin by taking an element of A. If little a is an element of the set A, then by definition of set union, A must also be an element of the set A union B. And then we very quickly arrive at our result. Since A is an element of A union B, and A union B is equal to the set B, we know that A must also be an element of B. And therefore, the set A is a subset of B, because all elements of A are also elements of B. And I just want to mention here that I have not necessarily written down all of the details. I wrote down the basics and explained with my voice the details. If I were writing a full proof of this instead of presenting one, then I would want to write down the justification for this step. A is an element of B because A union B is equal to B, and therefore A union B is a subset of B. But in any event, that completes the proof. We just showed that if A union B is equal to B, then A is a subset of B. Thus, if A and B are two sets, then A is a subset of B, if and only if A union B 
is equal to b. Hope this video helped you understand how to prove this set theory result. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. Also, there's a very similar result to this one for set intersection. We'll do a lesson on that shortly, but maybe you could figure it out yourself in the meantime. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Traverse the steepest edge of the sea of ice.